Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the scrambling capabilities of the Rocky Mountain Radar Judge, specifically its ability to scramble police radar guns. Now, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, scrambling, the idea is it's something Rocky Mountain Radar um, is exclusive to them, and it's supposed to be able to scramble police radar and laser guns and prevent the officers from being able to get your speed. Uh, it sounds super cool. They've been pitching this stuff for years. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually work at all. Uh, in fact, I've done some testing already with the previous top of the line version, the C495. If you want to see those test results, just click that button right up there and watch the video. Um, now, the Judge is their newest version of their detectors. So, you know, newest, latest and greatest, now current top of the line, right? This guy actually retails for 400 bucks. Now, let's say you're like, that sounds awesome. I'd love to be able to have my detector scramble police officers and prevent them from getting my speed there is actually a speed sign up the side of the road. And why don't I just drive past it real quick and I'll get to see my radar detector in action. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Now, if you take a look at uh, Rocky Mountain's radar, uh, Rocky Mountain Radar's website or their manual, here's what they say about testing with speed signs. The trailers you see on the side of the road that show you your speed are not legal to write tickets. They do not contain the sophisticated sampling computers that are in police radar guns. Since our units confuse the computers and there is none, there are none, uh, they will not work reliably against the trailers. That sounds logical. Actually makes no sense at all. But let's go with it. Let's go with it. Uh, what does it say about police radar guns? Because apparently that's what this is designed to work against, right? Well. Police detectors need to get multiple readings sequentially in order to display a valid speed to the officer when using the radar or laser gun. When the judge detects a speed detection device, it floods the signal with additional signals, making it impossible for the speed detection device to get an accurate reading. Impossible to get an accurate reading. So what you're saying is if I want to see this in action, I need to get myself a police radar gun and then drive towards it, and it's not gonna work at all. How far away do I need to get? Well, it says that uh, the, ra the radar scrambling capability is functional beyond 50 to 200 feet away. So what would happen if I had a police radar gun? What would happen if I had six police radar guns? What would happen if I found a course that was about 750 feet long, well beyond the limits of what this detector is capable of scrambling? What do you think would happen? Why don't we take a look? All right. Scrambler turned on. Stalker 2, scrambler on, KA band. Judge, Scrambler on, verse Genesis 2, 35-5. Judge versus Falcon HR. Uh, K band filter is on for BSM faulting or filtering. Scrambler is on. And that's it.
first K band MPHZ35. Uh, K band filter is on for BSMs, and scrambler is on too. So we've got the Genesis 2 select on K-band. Uh, for fun, we'll do K-band filter off and scrambler turned on. Let's do it. So as you can see, every gun was able to instantly acquire the speed of my vehicle and track it, no problem, while my car was driving by. It worked all the way from the start of the course, it worked all the way up to point blank range. As far as I can tell, this guy has zero impact on police radar guns at all. No impact, they're able to acquire my speed the whole time. This is no surprise. This is actually one of the reasons why uh, enthusiasts like myself don't run Rocky Mountain Radar products. Um, they're actually known by many, many consider them to be the biggest scammers in the radar detector industry. They make lots of crazy claims about stuff that doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more tests with this guy as well. If you wanna see more tests, uh, click the buttons on screen or links down in the video description as those tests get posted up to YouTube. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy the other tests as well.